Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, let us understand NGR, that is Neutral Grounding Resistance for Transformer. So in this tutorial, we are also going to do some simulation to understand this NGR concept in better manner. What is Neutral Grounding Resistor? The neutral grounding resistor normally used in electrical power system to protect star connected alternator or generator or transformer. NGR normally constructed by inserting a resistor between star connected neutral terminal and ground terminal. You can see this neutral connected terminal here this point which is connected to ground through a resistor so this resistor is called neutral grounding resistor or ngr so in neutral grounding resistor type of grounding system provides more benefits compared with your ungrounded as well as solidly grounded systems then when we need NGR, normally in the voltage level of 3.3 kV, 6.6 kV and 11 kV, there are motors. So in order to prevent single line to ground fault current, in fact a high amount of single line to ground fault current towards the core of motor terminal, we need NGR to limit single line to from ground fault current. If the rotating machines are not present at this voltage level, it is not mandatory to go for neutral grounded resistor. Solidly grounded systems are more than enough. Moreover, rotating machines are not going to present the level of 22 kV and above usually these systems are solidly grounded systems. So when we need NGR, if the voltage level of 3.3, 6.6 and 11 kV connected with motors, we have to restrict the single line to ground fault current. So in such a situation, we need NGR. Then why we need NGR? As I mentioned earlier, we have to limit the fault current. If you are not limiting the fault current, core damage to the generator as well as motor. Manufacturer will provide the amount of current allowed to core of the generator and motor. So we have to restrict within this so that we need NGR. So by inserting neutral grounding resistor, we can reduce single line to ground fault current to a predetermined value. So this is the reason why we need NGR. We have to limit, in order to limit, we need NGR. Then NGR sizing. How to size NGR? Let's have a simple problem. Size an NGR for a transformer of 110 kV per 11 kV to limit the transformer LV side single line to ground fault current to 400 amps. Uh, in fact, here uh, it's a mistake. Not simply uh, LV side current, SLG current, that is single line to ground fault current. We have to re reduce transformer LV side single line to ground fault current to 400 amps. This is my objective. So you can observe the transformer secondary line voltage is 11 kV and transformer secondary phase voltage simply calculated by dividing 11 by root 3. So we observe that 6.351 kilovolt. So NGR is calculated simply that secondary phase voltage divided by the amount of current to be limited in the secondary side of 
transformer single length ground fault that is 400 so 6.351 divided by 400 is 15.877 ohms so your MGR value is 15.877 let's go for a simple simulation so that you can further understand the MGR concept to understand the concept let's take a transformer with uh, primary of 110 secondary of 11 kV let's go to grounding delta star resistor grounding so you can see 6.351 volt this is a phase voltage we want to restrict the current to 400 the corresponding NGR required is 15.87713 okay. then to understand the concept deeper let me go for small simulation let me take one source and a bus connecting a bus to both the source and the transformer taking one more bus here Okay. Now let's provide some input value to the source. Already 110 kV available. Let's go for X by R ratio 14. So this is 40. That means three phase fall current is 40 kilo amps and so as single phase fall current. Then coming to transformer, I will just provide some um, rating for a transformer. Impedance select typical impedance. That's it. Now let us see what is single line to ground fall current on this transformer LV side when the fault is created. Go to short circuit, take uh, all bus fault and you standard. I have already used C factor of 1. Okay, now let me run IEC60909 single phase fault. Let us check the value. Now we can see the fault current at LV side is 0.397 kA. Let us see what kind of fault is this line to ground fault okay you can also take exactly what is the value here 0.397 so with the value of ngr it is possible to reduce the value of single line to fault current below 400 i hope this helps to understand ngr sizing of transformer meet you again in the next video thank you